All right, we got a question on the YouTube channel, so we wanted to address this. That was a really important one. Now, this can be different than our other type of videos. We're just shooting with our iPhone. Uh, you might hear some construction and stuff going on. Uh, we're in Columbia right now. We wanted to shoot this, and the question was, you know, how do you train when you're injured? And this is a big one because the last thing you want to do is not do anything. Because if you don't do anything, you're going to atrophy, you're going to get weaker, and you're going to be more susceptible to injuries when you get back. So, uh, first and foremost, the biggest thing that you want to focus on if you get injured is you want to focus on your diet. You want to have a clean diet, meaning you want to cut out sugars, you want to cut out processed foods. And when I say sugars, I mean refined sugars, added sugars, uh, sugars that you find naturally in fruits and stuff, things like that, totally fine. But you want to eat natural foods because this is how your body's going to heal. Because your body's going to be working a lot, especially if it's a serious injury, it's going to be working a lot to heal that injury and you need to be providing a good diet. And especially if you're adding exercise, which we'll talk about here in just a second, diet's gonna be really key. The second thing is that you want to be working out as much as you can. So this depends on what kind of injury you have, but, and Thomas is gonna explain a story in exactly. a little bit. Exactly, yeah. But actually, I mean, do you wanna jump sure, yeah, in? Yeah, jump on Because this is pretty interesting, yeah. Yeah, because I actually experienced a severe injury as a pretty bad ankle dislocation. If I have a picture, I'll show it to you. Based on my ankles to the side, um, and it was a pretty serious injury. And I was in the. If you experience an injury, maybe you have one right now. You're like, what? What do you do? What can I do? So my brain was racking. I was really afraid at that point because I was told that I wouldn't be able to get the the same use out of my ankle. And I actually had a friend. He was a break dancer, and he experienced the same injury. And he told me he did not get his his ankle back to where it was. And that really scared me because uh, my career was built on movement. I just like to enjoy movement. If you're an athlete, it's a big deal. And it can be very scary. So for me, I was really paranoid. So what I did is like Jonathan said, you focus on the nutrition. I rested the injury, but I started working out other muscle groups. So I couldn't use my ankle, but I could use my opposite foot. So I was kind of bedridden for a couple of weeks. So I just do leg exercises with the opposite leg. I would do core exercises. Any exercise I could do, I would do pull-ups. Any exercise where I didn't feel any pain or didn't use that ankle, I, I just stayed in that area. So I, I just kept on doing pull-ups. My pull-up, uh, my pull-ups increased in strength. My core strength improved. I also did mental visualization. So I spent a lot of time because I didn't really, I couldn't really do much. Couldn't really walk, walk around. So I spent a lot of time mentally visualizing myself healing. Also, new movements that I wanted to learn. Just focusing on what my body would have to do. And after the injury, I actually learned my first side flip after that. So that was pretty amazing. Just the mental visualization, I think, helped with that. Okay, so that's another thing. So focusing on whatever injury you have, working out other areas of your body, because just because you have an injury doesn't mean you just give up and then that's it. So a lot of us will have an injury either on the, our wrist or our arm. You can work out lower body then. You can work out core. If you have an injury with your lower body like I did, you can get your upper body a lot better. So no excuses there. Um, the other thing is focusing on your rehab. That was the biggest mistake that I've seen a lot of guys. They'll get an injury, they'll rest, and then, and then they don't spend the time to really get that strength back in their joint or their muscles. They'll just get lazy with it. You can't get lazy with it. You have to be very on point. And for me, I didn't go to a professional to get rehab. I had to do it myself because uh, the doctor I spoke with, he just gave me a sheet of paper and a little rubber band to use, and he said, "Go, you're on your own now, cool. And I, at the time, I didn't have money to spend on rehab and things like this, so um, I had to do it myself. So I did a lot of research, and I spent a lot of time doing balancing drills, uh, slow squats, building up the ankle strength, and it spent, I spent months dedicating time to training on building that rehab, and that's what I recommend is when you, you know, you've rested, your injury is recovered, get on that rehab as soon as possible, and take it very seriously, okay? Because that's, that's when you're gonna be able to get back to 100%. I was able to get back to 100%. Uh, some other guys I know, they didn't focus on their rehab, didn't focus on building those exercises with balance, stability, getting that strength progressively, and, and they didn't get their ankle back, or they didn't get to 100%. They're stuck at 60 to 80 or something like that. So you don't want that. So those are the big things there. I think that pretty much wraps it up, encapsulates it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all the things. Do you want to add anything else? One little in our story, because I know, you know, ankle injuries are one thing, but what if you tear an ACL or something, a knee injury? And we actually have a story of a friend of ours, 
an old soccer teammate, his name's Omar Gonzalez, and I remember we were talking back and forth, and he tore his ACL, uh, I believe, I think it was ACL, yeah, it was his ACL, and he was devastated, and that was right at the time when his career was, was taking off. Uh, he got Rookie of the Year, he was playing for LA Galaxy, and so he was devastated, but he focused on the rehab, he had pros uh, helping him out, and he was able to come back even stronger and was in that next World Cup. So that's just to tell you, if you get an injury, just focus on those things that we talked about. You can bounce back, no matter what injury is, especially uh, if you're younger, it's gonna help a lot if you just focus on those things. So. Yeah, that pretty much wraps up. Yep. This is a pretty much Q&A, Ask the Taps videos. We're gonna try to bring it back on the channel. Uh, we're not gonna put as much production into these, uh, just time constraint wise, but that means you get more content, yeah. so. Oh, and if you need something to help build, because one thing that's gonna help a lot is working that mobility, working on just basic sh uh, athletic strength. And you can check out some of our programs. We'll put W Flexibility down there. That's gonna help a lot, or Rapid Problem Fitness. Yeah. We'll, we'll, and we'll have some stuff down there where you can check that out. So that's it for this video. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Join us on this journey, and uh, we'll probably put a comment, question, or something down below. So check that out, and we'll see you in the next video.